Hi everyone, thank you for watching. If you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe below. All of the ad revenue that we'll generate from these videos will be donated to local New Zealand charities, but we do need to hit a thousand subscribers to monetize the channel. So hit subscribe, hit the like button, share the video, all of that stuff, and we'll pass any ad revenue onto the charities. Today we're talking about refixing your mortgage. Given that rates seem to be just getting lower and lower, you may be wondering whether it's best to sit with a floating rate and wait for things to get even lower, perhaps even down to a rate with a one in front of it. Mm. Big disclaimer to start, any market predictions need to be taken with a bucket of salt. Case in point, prior to March 2020, most economists and industry experts were forecasting that New Zealand had pretty much reached the lowest point for interest rates and would soon see them stagnate or increase. COVID-19 hit, now one year fixed interest rates are in the low 2%. Having said that, we can look into the future with a reasonable amount of certainty. We know that the housing market is running hot, there's not much stock, a lot of FOMO and no real solution to this imbalance in the near future. COVID-19 has been successfully stopped from entering the community and New Zealanders have proven that they are willing and able to do what is needed to keep COVID-19 out. The Reserve Bank has, thankfully, other tools in the tool bag to cool the market before they resort to increasing interest rates. So what's happening with interest rates? Floating rates have remained steady around 4.19% since the end of last year. Shorter fixed term rates of six months to two years have continued a downward trajectory since May 2020. However, interest on fixed terms of three years or more has increased over the last month. The reason interest rates move can be complicated and depend on a number of factors, but safe to say that at the moment, long term interest rates seem to be going up whereas short-term interest rates seem to be stable or moving slightly lower. For 2021, the short term, we're betting the Reserve Bank will want to continue to stimulate the economy, and as a result, mortgage interest rates will remain low, but are unlikely to get much lower. The fallout from COVID-19 is unlikely to have settled by New Year's 2022, or even Easter, in which case you're not going to see a significant jump up in interest rates before mid-2022. As for waiting for a lower interest rate, the higher floating interest rates you would be paying in the meantime may make the risk not worthwhile, especially given no sharp drop in interest rate is expected. The best strategy for many may be to lock in for a year or two years and use the savings gained from the low rates to pay down as much of your mortgage as possible. Then when rates start to increase, they'll have significantly less principal to pay interest on. Remember also that Personal circumstances and future plans are very relevant when choosing how long to refix your mortgage for. Make sure you talk to a mortgage broker for advice specific to you.